What's good, team exclusive, and welcome back to yet again uh, another day of daily foot freeze content. Today is day number eight, I do believe. I'm not sure actually how many days are left of foot freeze. I know the uh, the the freeze team is no longer in packs. Um, I think that went out of packs yesterday or the day day before yesterday. Um, but I'm not sure how long how much longer these SPCs are going to go on for. Who knows? Who knows at this point? We do have, I believe it's the cam today. No other, no other information besides um, there being a cam, uh, which is always great to go on. Uh, supposedly, no new objectives. We do, of course, have the Real Madrid fourth kit, which looks a bit like... I'm not quite sure how to say it with being politically correct or YouTube friendly, but... Um, Yeah, anyway, let's move on. So, I, either way, I do quite like that. It'd be quite nice to, quite nice to see some other um, kits, uh, like the um, United third kit as like a objective. That'd be quite cool. Even though it is pretty pointless. As far as I can see, there's no other ones. I don't really care if there is too much, but uh, let's jump into the player SPC today. Of course, like I said, a cam. Hopefully it's a prem. Oh my God. Oh my God. And there we are. So, finally, everybody's request to get a Dharma Triore has been granted. I am very excited to see what this card looks like. Holy shit. Well, no, it's not the Oh, no, the cam was yesterday. Oh, I'm such an idiot. It's the left back. I thought it was going to be a left back, a Dharma Triore. Because obviously it was Spanish, left back. Um, and there we go. Holy, uh, I don't think that's quite what everybody had in mind when they wanted an Adama trial ray, but um, four star, two star. I mean, weak foot doesn't really matter too much on a, on a left back, but uh, you can't deny for a prem left back, that is uh, it's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. Obviously, in insane amount of pace. Uh, he is, what, like 5'10". I mean, his strength is ridiculous. Um, it's crazy that um, that Harland has got more strength than Adama, and like Adama is, you know, he's massive. But uh, either way, shooting's actually quite good. Shot power and long shots is it's all right. Finishing's not bad for a left back. I wonder if that's been downgraded or upgraded since, because I know his, I think it's been upgraded because his previous one had like 66, I think. I'm not sure what his finishing was like. We'll have to have a look at that. But um, passing is. I mean, it's pretty woeful, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. Long passing is pretty tragic. Short passing is it's pretty tragic for this stage in the game. Um, especially for a left back, that's not brilliant. Um, but his crossings are right, to be fair. That's pretty good. Vision's not not amazing and curve's not amazing. Not that I think that matters too much. Agility is actually very good for a, for a big man like himself. Dribbling's good. Composure, I mean, it doesn't matter, I suppose, unless you're actually planning on shooting with him. Ball control is quite nice. Reactions, balance, agility, very nice. Defending, obviously, is very good. Had, uh, supposedly had quite a massive boost. And then physicals are very, very decent as well. It's a very odd card because, obviously, we're all used to a Dharma Traore on the right or, you know, as a sub or whatever, just running down the wings, obliterating our defence. And now he's, now he is the defence. Um, it is, uh, it's very interesting. Very, very interesting. Again, like I said, I don't think this is quite what people had in mind when they said, uh, I, I really want to freeze the Dharma Traore. This is definitely not what people people probably wanted or do want. But how expensive is this card going to be? He's there for six days, which is interesting because Nabry's there for 12 or he was there for like 13, 14. And the same for Jesus Navas. So interesting stuff. Two segments. What are we saying? I'm going to probably say an 85 and an 86, maybe with or without Team of the Weeks. 83 Team of the Week and an 86. Oof, okay. So it's not cheap. It's not cheap. It's probably going to be about, what, verging on maybe 200k-ish. I mean, packs aren't, they're not the worst, but they're not amazing. Prime Electrum's okay, I guess. But um, yes, it's a weird card. It's a weird card because... Is that somebody you really want to use as a left back? I mean, he's kind of got all the traits as a, as a really good left back or full back. You, you could even play him at right back on probably six chemistry and he, or six or seven and he'd be fine. You know, pace, strength, agility, um, defending, pass it, I suppose, passing maybe with a chem style. It's not awful. It's not an awful card. It's not an awful card. It's just a bit, 
just a bit strange, that's all. Just a bit strange. I do like the position change, though. Got to say, I do like the whole right mid or right wing to, to left back. But uh, like I said, yeah, it's not not what people wanted. I think people wanted a uh, <laughs> like a striker or, or a cam a Dharma, but we don't have that. We've got the left back, which I'm um, contemplating doing, but I probably won't because I think he's a bit pointless. Uh, I don't need him for my squad. I think it's a good card. We'll have to look at the price because I don't know if it's fully overpriced. I think it is a little bit too expensive for what he is, like an 86 and an 83 with a team of the week for an 84. It's a lot. It's a lot. Is this today's? No way that's today's. Prime mixed. I can't tell which one was today's. Either way, that's tragic. That is awful. Jumbo gold pack for... For nine golds, two rares, same league. It's just pointless, isn't it? It's just pointless. Prime mixed players pack. I can't tell which one is... Uh, I'm assuming this one is day before, is it? I don't know. There's two there. Unless they've released two today. Freeze challenge, freeze challenge. So that one's there for a day and 24. Three hours. But they've got different logos, so I don't understand what's going on. That's weird. So they released... Have they released two? Because I'm pretty sure yesterday was like... um. Or else I didn't... Did I not do yesterday's? Maybe I didn't. I don't know. I actually can't remember at this point. I'm losing my mind. But this one is going to require... Minimum silver, gold five, rare three, same league, minimum four, nationalities, maximum five. Um... Yeah, that's not bad, I suppose. That's not terrible. I suppose you need to use quite a few silvers for a prime mixed players pack. Well, um, we'll go ahead and do this one, like uh, like always. Uh, and I'll be back in two seconds and uh, I'll show you the squad. Cool. Okay, so there we go. There is my squad. Again, I think um, you could probably get away with using a few more silvers or, or what have you. Um, but overall, I, I'm actually probably happier using um, some rare golds or non-rare golds just because I think they're probably slightly less expensive than silvers like this guy even though he's English League 2 he's still I mean supposedly just over about 1,000 1 1.5k uh, this guy as well so he's not too expensive considering but he is 600 coins which um, you could probably get most rare golds for so I'm pretty happy with that um, but yeah we've got three silvers in there the rest is just Premier League it's very easy um, just using majority English really because as long as you keep to nationalities maximum five um yeah you're fine absolutely fine and then you get a prime prime mixed players pack I believe which again is not the greatest pack in the world prime mixed yeah but it's also not terrible I guess for what uh what you have to give up um let's have a look if there's an, anything else in store we'll probably do as loan the armor Adama Traore, Adama Traore loan. Um, scary looking card. Uh, like again, I think he could he could be quite a good sub. Um, just I just I don't know. He hasn't had that much of a like a shooting boost. So how effective is he really going to be? But uh, this requires minimum silver, rare one, Spanish. That is very easy to do. Very easy. I'm actually going to probably try and do it right now. So two seconds. Pretty much untradeable because all we get these days is just untradeable, untradeable, untradeable. But there we go. Adama Traore. Three loans, which means infinite games in friendlies. Uh, it will be quite useful in like managerial masterpiece, that kind of stuff where you need a low rated team. He's not the highest rated player. Um, so you could actually get away with using, you know, this guy and maybe some other half decent players, which is quite nice. But there we are. So add him straight to the club. And I believe that's everything we've got today, unless I've missed anything. So supposedly that's everything. Let's just check. Uh... Still got the free challenge, loans, double upgrade. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. So cool. Uh, there's no new no new things in store, but uh, yeah. If there's any promo packs, of course there is. Of course there is, but there we are. So we're going to open this and we'll jump over to Footbin in a second, check out his upgrade and stuff. All that good stuff. No oh, walk out, no boards. Damn, shame. One day I'll get something half decent out of these. Free freeze challenge players. Hey, you've got Mesut Ozil again, the only player to be in FIFA who doesn't play football. And here we are. So uh, let's have a look at Adama Triore. Very, very nice looking card. Just curious why uh, Foden. So I suppose it's because Adama Triore is um, is in the SBC. That's probably why he's, he's popular. But uh, um, yeah. Anyway, let's have a look at 
Ah, uh, Adama Traore. So, obviously, 79 base is, yeah, his SBC is about 200k, so I kind of predicted about right. And it's a tough one because I think if you're in need of a really good, potentially attacking fullback, like left back, that kind of thing, he could be, he could be good. And 200k is not a terrible price, I suppose, for what you're getting. Like, an incredible fullback who could really do a job for you. Um... I just think, I just think it's a little bit too, it's a little bit too expensive because it just seems like EA just putting up the, you know, the prem tax of, uh, of just Premier League players because overall his defending isn't that amazing. It's not amazing um, comparing it to somebody like. We actually have a quick comparison. I do. I'm curious because I want to see how different he is to, like, uh, we'll go with Mendy. And of course, we'll choose Furland. So, again, a similar rating, similar pace. You know, once you get past that kind of 90, 92 mark, it's pretty irrelevant. Um, obviously, much better dribbling. Defending is a lot better. I'm actually curious to see defending wise. So, interceptions for Adama is it's got seven more. Heading accuracy is basically the same. Defensive awareness, it's got 81 to 77. Standing tackle is better on Mendy and slide tackle is better on Mendy as well. Um, it's interesting. It's very interesting. It, it'll be interesting to see how much of a difference these kind of stats make over somebody like Mendy. I'm not sure. I've played a lot with Mendy in, in early stages of the game and he's good, obviously. He's, you know, the OP left back, but um, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'm just not sure. Physicals wise, jumping obviously better on Adama, stamina better on Mendy, strength obviously better on Adama, and aggression better on Mendy. So it's kind of like a it's a trade off, isn't it? Give or take. Um, yeah, passing obviously better on Mendy. It's just like it's 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 this it's this like debate of you could pick up Mendy for thirty eight thousand coins, tradable. So if you pick him up and go, nah, he's crap. Just sell him for forty thousand coins. You got your coins back. Uh, you might even make a profit depending on, on when you buy it and when you sell it. But if you pay 200,000 coins for a very similar left back, bear in mind, to, to Mendy, you can't get those coins back. You're stuck with Adama. If you don't like him, there's nothing you can do. You're stuck with this card. And uh, the packs you get back aren't worth it, really, to be fair. So I think it's a little bit it's a little bit excessive, 200,000 coins for a, for a left back. We'll have a look at... Um, Who's a left back in the Prem that's quite similar? We've got the new um, inform, Benjamin Mendy. Let's get rid of this guy. So, obviously, pace, Dharma wins. Dribbling, Adama wins. Uh, passing is Mendy. Physicals and defending are, are very, very similar. But let's have a look at defending wise. So, again, yeah, he wins the top three, but then the bottom, bottom two. It's better on, on somebody like Mendy, and I don't know, he's only 42,000 coins. Again, if you put like a shadow, let's have a quick look. So, do, 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 where are we? Shadow, please. Thank you. Put a shadow on both of them. Not that it matters, but I just want to see what it kind of, it's 88 to 94 and 99 to 89. Very, very similar. See, very, very similar. Again, you could probably do something different with a Dharma, like, uh, which one is it? It's, um, oh, is it Backbone? Actually, can't tell what that boosted. I think that was his, uh, yeah. I think that's the defending and physical one. Um, yeah, so backbone. You could do that and you could have a really good left back. Um, so it's it's tricky. It's really tricky because there's two incredible left backs, both for the Prem, that you could easily pick up. Again, one is 200k. This one is 42. And I don't know. There's just not much in it. There's not much, there's not much difference. Um, I just think there's there's just, yeah, it's just a little bit too expensive. But either way, his boost he has got is, uh, he's got, so he's got plus six shooting. His shooting has gone up, which is quite nice. It's always nice, nice to see a little bit of a boost, even though 72 is still very, very low. Um, he's got a plus seven passing boost, plus 42 defending boost, and plus four on his, uh, on his physicals. I'm curious to see how much of his, uh, so he had a plus he had a plus four on strength holy not that he needed it at all um and yeah so his base card goes for what 2k is it 
2k and now suddenly his 84 left back card is 200,000 coins. I, if this was if this was on the market, would you pay 200k for it? Hmm, not sure about that. Not sure about that one, Chief. Um, four star, two star, low high. So again, very attacking, attacking fullback. I don't know. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Like, like I said, I think if you're really in need of a of a left back, let's jump back over to. I do want to have a look at uh, uh, it's Robertson. So Andy Robertson, obviously high rated left back, very similar. Uh, I say very similar, but obviously very different players. But uh, let's have a quick look what um, we're, we're talking about. So there, there's both players on a shadow, I believe. Is that a shadow? Uh, not that it really matters, actually, to be fair. But uh, yeah, so both players on a shadow. Again, like I say, I think you could do a backbone for a diamond. It'd probably be better. But uh, yeah, very similar. Like 93 pace, 90 defending, 76 physical, 80 passing, 80 dribbling. Arguably, possibly a better a better uh, left back. I mean, I don't know. I haven't used them. But similar, you know, three star, two star. So very similar weak foots and stuff. Um and he's 35,000 coins. I just think you could be, you're much better off buying a tradable left back uh, that you can sell if you don't like, or, you know, it's just better than paying 200,000 coins for an untradable Adama. Again, you could easily just pick up his loan, see if you like him or not, and then do the SBC. Could do it that way. I just think it's a bit, it's a bit much. But either way, very interesting card nonetheless. A very good card. You can't take away, again, like I've always said out of these, they're all, some, well, most of them are all very good cards. Um, there's no denying this is probably going to be a very, very OP left back. It's just a bit expensive. It's just a bit expensive. So there we go. There is another day of foot freeze or overpriced SBC day of the week done. Uh, number eight. Um, yeah, again, like I said, very interesting card. Um, just a bit overpriced. I think a bit overpriced. 200k is a bit much. I think if you're looking at maybe 100 150 i think that might be slightly more acceptable i um yeah i don't know like he's he's downvoted heavily on footbin um like 2000 downvotes to 800 it just goes to show that um that you know i think one people think it's overpriced and two it's not quite the card they wanted was it a left back adama it's not quite what we were asking for. Not that I was really asking for Adama, because like I said, he, he was going to be mad expensive regardless of what he was. If he was a striker, he'd probably be about 500k. Uh, left back, that's probably why he is as uh, as cheap as, as he is. But uh, either way, that's today done. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Um, let me know if you're, um, if you're picking up this Adama. Do, do you think he's worth the value? Again, it's, it's borderline. It's like... Um, it's cheap enough to say that you probably could do it being 200k and also it's expensive enough to say that it's too expensive so uh if you are doing it let me know if you are and um yeah that, that'd be good so hopefully you have enjoyed if you have please do drop this video a like that'd be very very much appreciated if you want to see more of this content as i like i said we're doing this uh content every day of the week uh 6 p.m onwards every day of the week some days might be a little bit late i try and get up around around seven half seven ish um, British, British time, uh, UK time. So if uh, you know if you want to stick around for that, please do hit that subscribe button and become part of the exclusive family. But with that said, I do hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.